Hey, good morning, y'all. Hey, Jesus is Lord. Hey, the word works, but you got to go to it and work it. <clears throat> the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. I want to read to you out of James chapter 5, the latter part of verse uh, <clears throat> 16. It says, uh, the prayer of faith for save the sick. Well, watch this, the sick. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Or I like to put it this way. The <clears throat> really good, believing, strong prayer. <clears throat> Seeking God, asking God, making a demand on his covenant. The effectual, not willing to take no for an answer. Fervent, going to God and meaning it. <laughs> uh, of a righteous man, avails much or changes things or causes things to change. Somebody said, well, I wouldn't pray like that. Well, that's why you're not receiving. You're just kind of hoping, and maybe, maybe God will feel sorry for you. No, you've got to realize God is a God of his word. This is the confidence, 1 John 5, 14. This is the confidence that we have in him. Confidence, the assurance, the privilege of boldness. This is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything, watch, anything, according to his will. So what I have to do is find out what his will is. For instance, is it God's will for me to be well? Psalm 107 verse 3 said he sent his word and healed me. Uh, Matthew 8, 17 says Jesus bore my sicknesses and carried my diseases. And 1 Peter 2, 24 says, and with his stripes I was healed. And in 3 John verse 2, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. So it is the will of God for me to be healed. Jesus never told anybody to stay sick for the glory of God. And in Acts 10, 34, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the power of the Holy Ghost, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. So I know it's the will of God for me to be healed, so I go boldly to the throne room with confidence, and I pray an effectual, strong, believing prayer that healing has to come on my body. That's how simple it is. How about enough money to pay my bills? Well, the Bible says, wealth and riches shall be in your house. Uh, the Bible says, my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory, Philippians 4, 19. Uh, you know, the Bible says, Luke 6, 38, give and it shall be given unto you. So I've given and it shall be given unto me. And it says that God grants me the desires of my heart. Having enough money to buy tires from a pickup truck well, is the desire of my heart. Well, it was a few weeks ago. I'd been, I mean, I'd been running on what we call Maypops. You could just about see the air in them and I uh, didn't have the money to buy the tires. I mean, and they were they were pitiful, and uh, I desired tires, so I didn't go to God and say, "Well, you know, you said you love me in John three sixteen. I didn't go to God in my prayer time and say, uh, "Well, I just love you, and I just want to praise you and thank you." There are rules about petitions of prayer. I went to God and said, "I need four, not three, not two. I need four tires for my pickup truck, and I believe that I receive when I pray." And I didn't get them that day. In fact. I didn't get them for a couple of weeks. In fact, it was, I think, over a month. But I didn't turn my confession off because, you know, I had to pay for them. I didn't have any cash in my pocket. And so, you know, I kept looking around till I found me a real good deal. And I found a really good deal. Not that you have to always get good deals, but I found a good deal. And I believed God for the money. And I went up there and I don't, I not only got tires for my truck, I got tired, brand new tires for my truck. But while I was there, they said, look, we got a set over here that just come off of this uh, other truck. This guy bought some new tires. These are like new. I'll sell them to you for 50 bucks a piece. I said, no, I want them new ones because that's what I bleed for. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go home and get my granddaughter's truck and bring it up here and put tires on that one. So God didn't only give me new tires for my truck. He gave me new tires for her truck because I effectively believed the word of God and was able to put two sets of tires on two trucks in one day. And I think I had $15 left over in my pocket. Now that was a miracle of God. The point is this, you go to God expecting I had this lady write me a note the other day. Can I believe God for a husband? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go to the Word, find out what the Word says, and believe God for the best. Believe God for a good one. One that's got a lot of money. One that's good looking. One that's going to be a good, godly, uh, 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 Christian uh, husband that'll take care of you. And man, I make a list. Man, everything I want, I make a list. Now, on those tires, I didn't make a list, but I knew where they were. They had been there for several weeks. 
I knew how much they were. I knew how much money I had to have. And I went up there and made the guy a deal and said, put them on, balance them. Let's get this done. Go to God that way. You know, I, I put those tires on. A couple of days later, they just weren't exactly right. One of them was out of balance, maybe two of them. I took them back. I went back up there to the dealer where I'd bought them. I said, hey, look, y'all balance these tires. Maybe your balancing machine wasn't right or something, but this car's shaking. This pickup truck's shaking. I want it made right. Well, they took it in there, and they said, well, one of our machines was off, and so we rebalanced them. Now it's just as smooth as it can be. Listen, don't take no for an answer. I told you this story. I used to stop every morning and get me a biscuit, uh, uh, sausage, ba uh, uh, egg, and cheese. And one morning I went out and they didn't put no cheese on it. I walked right back in there after I took that first bite. I said, here's my ticket. I paid for cheese and you didn't put cheese on there. Now put my cheese on there. That's the way you need to go to God. Now, I know that's a little strange for some of you. The effectual fervent prayer is a prayer that's not willing to take no for an answer. It's not willing to just say, well, the Lord knows what I need. Listen, it wasn't the will of God for me to have a flat tire. It wasn't the will of God for my tires to be wore out. But after I got a hold of the word, went to the word, I didn't only get blessed with one set of tires. I got blessed with two sets of tires because God can do, watch, <laughs> exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think, and I got to go. Have a great day. Pray the effectual, fervent, I take no for an answer prayer and always receive from God. So until I'm with you tomorrow, remember, hey, Jesus is Lord, and thank God the word works.